everybody. I want to show you this whole beef tenderloin that I just got on sale for $4.99 a pound at my local grocery store. It's a little noisy in here right now because I'm also making some turkey jerky. You can see there. And my dehydrator fan is a little noisy. Now let's take a look at this whole tenderloin. That's excellent. I'm going to cut this into uh, into separate pieces. I come up towards the tail end here and usually just cut that off. Use that for stew meat. Cut this up. I'll show you what to do here to get a nice filet mignon cut out of this. Cut off about three inches. Like this. Then you want to come right in the middle and cut just about halfway through it and then just fold it over you have a nice filet mignon there you can wrap that in bacon fry it up and do one more here so there's some nice filet mignon cups uh, you'll probably see me grill these up in a future video when I'm cutting up these beef tenderloins I usually get three or four different bags going. One bag, I cut off all the prime steaks. Uh, like this here, these are nice filet mignon. So when I label that, I call this bag A+. So that when I'm reaching through the freezer, looking for some nice cuts of meat, I know my A+, bag has my good steaks. And then for so-so cuts, I have a B bag. And so on down the line, I'll have a C bag that I'll put stewing pieces in. Alright, so here's all my bags of meat ready for the freezer. Here's my A plus cut, nice filet mignon from the center portion of the tenderloin. Here's my B cut. So there's some uh, nice filet mignon, a little bit smaller, more towards the tail end portion of the uh, tenderloin. And here's my C bag. This is meat that I'll use for stewing or beef kebabs. So that's how I prepare a whole beef tenderloin. Hey you, you know me, you touch me.